Hello, welcome to a brief introduction on using multi-term through Microsoft Word. Multi-term works as a glossary so that as you're editing or translating your project, any words that you've translated before and have put into your multi-term term base, it will show them in the translation as you go through the document. So we're going to open our Microsoft Word. We're doing imagery course. We have a text in Spanish on imagery and visualization techniques. Now, multi-term can only be used through Trottles. So you want to go to your translator's workbench. We're going to use the medical one. All right, so now we're ready to open multi-term. One key thing, you go to options, and this right here that says term recognition, it needs to be checked. There's nothing here, so we're going to select. As you can see, the multi-term window appears. Now, if you go back and look at it, it has a little check mark it check mark next to it. It's ready to go. So we go to options again, term recognition options, to select which term base we're going to use for multi-term. As you can see we have multi-term 7 here and we have a telecommunications term base. That's not what we want. So we go to browse. We select that and click this, remove term base. That's not the one we want. To find the one we want, we go to the green button, add term base. Here we have a choice, engineering, medical. This is the one we want. Click OK. Appears there. OK. Make sure the source and target are good. We're translating Spanish into English. OK. Now you have multi-term open through your TM. Next thing you need to do is you need to open it through the Word document. So you go up here to select term base and we want to select the exact same one that we have down in the, t in the translator's workbench. The telecom thing appears again. Remove that just like before. Add term base and medical. That's what we want. OK. OK. Now we're ready to begin translating. Open up our first segment. And as you can see, a word appears here, especial, and it says special. Now if we take a look at the entire sentence, see there's a little red line over especial indicating that that word is in the term base, the multi-term term base, and we have a definition for it. So now we're going to start translating, and we're going to say, you feel very safe and connected as you begin to explore this. Now we want to use special place, period. Close that, go on to the next segment. Here we go again, we have cuerpo. Now you can see that in the term base it has the plural, but that's helpful because if you have any form of the word it'll show you what you, what you translated it as before. So we're going to say your entire body begins. Now we're doing a thing on visualization and we have the word relajarse. So that'll probably appear again. So we're going to put it in our term base just in case it comes up again. The way you do that is you select it, double click it, go up to add entry, click that. You want to make sure the source and the target are correct. So we need to fix this. This goes to Spanish, English, and we're going to say relax. Click add. Now we have one more term so that if it comes up later on in the document, it'll appear here along with the other ones. So we're going to say your body begins to relax and feel a calming, no, a sensation, a calm sensation as you relax more and more, period. Close that. All right, so that's a basic introduction on how multi-term works. Key things to remember, make sure this is checked, make sure you select it here so you can add terms, and then you go on through the document. As you add more and more terms, it becomes easier and easier as you translate because multiple selections, multiple translations will appear here on the side. That's it. Good luck.